in today's video, I'm going to show you some of the functionality to have in AutoCAD PNID uh, or AutoCAD Plan Preview with the PNID portion that we can use with the line group command. Now, you might know what well, you might think is a little bit familiar as AutoCAD also has a grouping command, which is kind of familiar or um, you know very similar to what we're going to be doing here, but more specific to an AutoCAD PNID environment. So the first thing I'm going to do to start this video off is just draw some some pipelines. Okay, and uh, we'll just draw one coming down onto this line here. Okay, now notice when I select the middle line, it will just select that middle line over there. If I select the top line, it will only select the top lines over there. Um, if I draw another line and another pipeline that come onto this middle line, notice that when I select the middle line, or so let's select this line over here, ah, sorry, if I select the middle line, you'll see it only selects that. If I select these two lines, one at the top, one at the bottom, because they're coming onto that line, um, it is still separate from that line. Um, if we wanted to join or link them, we'd have to obviously use that uh, functionality. But if I take a line and I drag it or draw it coming off another line, it will automatically make it part of that line over there. So just a little something to note if you are uh, working with pipelines in AutoCAD PNID. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, group this. So select the group command, okay? Select my middle line, and then I select the lines that I want to group it, group to it. Now with the group, you'll see that you can add, it will have a similar line number and a similar service, but it can have different pipe sizes um, and specs. So I'm gonna just show you that so that you, you know, you'll at least see this visually. So now select that middle line over there. You'll see all the lines highlighted because they're part of the same line group. Um, and then to edit these line groups, we can go to the top here, line group, line group edit, and I'll select the line. And then what it allows me to do is add more lines to the group, remove lines from the group, ungroup everything. And those are the ones that I'm particularly interested in is the line number and the service. So with the line number, I'm gonna say, right, what's the line number? I'm gonna say one, two, three, four. Okay, so it'll now assign a line number to all three of those. And then I can say service, and I'll service just to show this available, uh, assigning PL, I'm happy with, uh, but I'm gonna change it just now. So just press enter to go and end the command. Now let's see what's actually happened over there. If I go to any of these lines, right click, and I go uh, assign tag or even annotate, okay, oval tag style. You'll see there that it's put in there PL, and one, two, three, four. So that PL is the service um, that I, I've asked for, and then the line number over there. Okay, so even, even if I go to the top over here as well, right click, annotate, you'll see there PL one, two, three, four, and then the same at the bottom over here. I'm just gonna show you how we can actually change it so that it's the same, but different. different. Okay. Now, let's go and edit, edit this. So I'm gonna right click edit, and you'll see over there, spec and size has a question mark on it. Okay, so I can say now what my spec is going to be. So let's say make it SS 150, and the size for the middle one, one. Okay, and what you'll notice now is that this annotation is one inch, SS 150 PL 1234, but it still has the question marks on these two. So they're still part of the same line group, but uh, as you can see, it's got PL and one, two, three, four in common, but it can have different sizes and specs. So I can go edit this, and we'll make this two inches, and the spec can be carbon steel 150, okay? And then just the last bracket, and you can see how we can change it. So with the, the line group number, um, it's very nice for, uh, you know, keeping up the the same line number and service, so you know exactly where these pipes are coming from. But you know, for this line grouping, it might have a different spec and it might have a different uh, 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 thickness as well or size. Sorry. Okay. So there we go. And if obviously you wanted to ungroup it, you just uh, you can just ungroup it by editing the group over here. Okay. So that's just a little bit of something on how to create groups in AutoCAD PNID, where you are able to just uh, control your drawing a little bit more and have similarities between different lines, even though they actually, they, they might not even be touching each other. They could just be 
three lines running across, but you need them to have the same line group so that when you, it's for easy identification, you take it from AutoCAD Clear Lighting to AutoCAD Plus. Thank you very much for watching.